Hey, what's going on, guys? Playing the new game that just came out Thursday called Planet Coaster. Uh, done a couple scenarios already. I've done about six maps right now. Uh, pretty fun, actually. Uh, I've, uh, I think it's a vast improvement over the previous Roller Coaster Tycoons, which these the developers are pretty much just uh, old people that did the previous Roller Coaster Tycoon games. And the people that currently do Roller Coaster Tycoon don't know what the hell they're doing. So don't. I would not recommend the new Roller Coaster Tycoon. But this is a way better version of the game. It's a good spiritual successor to the game. And it's excellent. So I'm going to get right into it after I read this thing. Because I am slow as fuck to read uh, the government recently sold off the tract of restricted land to private buyers, which was promptly snapped by an ambitious theme park operation shortly after the grand opening. The sci-fi theme park's management mysteriously disappeared along with their research. Keep in the, uh, keep this park in the black. Uh, earn enough to research new rides and make this strange park a success. Coolio. I got Mr. Roboto as my thing this time. Like, he doesn't really do anything. He kind of just, you know, that's the only time you see him ever. But, it's his... His little shindig now. Um, I love, love the roller coaster building design in this. It's so awesome. It's, oh my god, it's great. Alright, senior rating of 20. That's, or 50, not 20. Build five rides, easy. Park rating of 1,000. That's, that's actually pretty tricky to do, actually. That, I can understand why that's not hard. Monthly profit from rides of 10,000. That's not too terribly hard to do. After you get a roller coaster or two, that's very doable. Um, if you, if you're jumping into this game from the previous, why the hell are there two of these? I mean, there, it's an amazing ride, don't get me wrong, this ride is bullshit when it comes to, like, how much money you can make off of it. This is so far my favorite, like, non-roller coaster ride that you can build as far as income goes, because you make a lot of money off that ride. Um... But yeah, um, because it, I don't know, it just, it gets guests through the fucking line really fast, and then it's, uh, it, I don't know, it just works really well. Okay, I need to turn off these damn tutorials, they're starting to bug me. How do I do that? Uh, that'd be, not camera, interface, there we go, disable all hints. Alright, anyway, um, works really well though. I do not know what the hell path that is. I think it's this one. I don't like it when they do this and they just randomly pick chunks of the path that's not path. This is a really long line for this, though. They tend to do that. They tend to make really long lines by default, which just pisses off the customers because then they go up to the line and they say, oh, I'm not waiting that long in line for this. Besi and now, in fact... We're going to edit that right now, before we get too far into people liking this ride. Sorry for everyone that was on the ride, they got gypped of all your money. Um, you know, shit like this happens, and uh, you'll move on with your life. Is it three or is it four? Looks like it is three. Oh, this isn't even the right path. Well, good. I didn't even have to know what the path was. He did it on its own. Alright, anyway. Um, so, some tricks you can do with this that I've already learned in the couple times. First, I'm going to rename this to something. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm terrible with naming rides, by the way. So if you expect any good names to come out of this, well, <laughs> your expectations are too high. Um, I'll leave it the same color that it started out as. The A couple tricks you can do with this. Okay, so in this game, pretty much the amount of money that someone's going to pay to go on a ride is determined by this little number in the bottom right for uh, Q scenery rating. Um, it is pretty hard to get up, actually. You have to make a lot of scenery and you got to have a lot of flashy shit going on. So, instead of doing that, you can do what I do and cheat the system. Because all that game does is it just checks out what all the nearby scenery is. Like, this one very emphasizes this, like, fiery escape pod thing over here, and all these trees and stuff all count towards that. And I think it's within maybe, I don't know, 
from about here to about there is probably about how far it checks away from the queue. Um, but what you can do instead, like for example, I already like the scenery over here. I don't really want to fuck with it. Like sometimes I, I do scenery stuff because you know whatever. I'm not the biggest scenery. Like I don't dislike scenery, but it's kind of time consuming, and I've got other shit I need to do instead. So I don't usually like putting a lot of time into it. So what you can do instead is um do this little strategy I call. Okay, that, clearly this didn't stop. Okay, I, I didn't turn it off, obviously. So instead, all it does is check for it. You don't actually have to see any of the scenery. So I just place it underground, buy the cheapest thing that you can, spam click it for a little bit. It takes a little bit of time, because like I said, you need to make a lot of it. This was at, I think, 56% when I started on uh, the Q rating. Now, 73%, 75% is going up a little bit, just has to register all the shit that I just put down. Not good enough yet, though. We need to still go a little higher, so... No, I don't know if it actually makes it go up faster if I actually spread it out throughout the queue, or if I'll just put it in one spot. I'll just spread it out a little bit and see if that's better. But yeah, I, I'm looking at the money right now. Holy shit, I'm actually pretty low on cash. It's a good thing that... The rides are already built, because this could be an issue if I didn't have rides already. See, now people are saying that this is a really good value. That means that you can crank up the price and people will still go on the ride. So that's really nice to hear. 6%. Nope, 100%. There we go. So now, instead of this $9 ride, I can make this probably... Yeah, shit, I've made these rides $14 before in the past, and people will still go on the ride. What I usually do is I'll change the... Uh, I'll change the price, and then I'll click on any of the guests that walk up to it and walk away. And then if they start... I, I want to check to see what it is. Too long of a queue? Okay. But this is filthy. That didn't answer the question. And then these guys said... Don't want to wait that long in line. Yeah, like I said, these lines are a little long. They don't people don't like waiting that long. Oh, shit. But yeah, so now I can charge that fourteen dollars. You know, I'm actually going to change it to fifteen dollars. Now they say that nice little round out, roundabout money amount, and uh, people will pay for it. The, um, this shit, they need to, I wish some of the shit was uh, edited a little bit sooner when they did this. I, every single time I get a ride, I always ma uh, prioritize it for full load, have a minimum wait time of, well, honestly, I can, the minimum wait time on a ride like this that's not a roller coaster really doesn't matter. It's however fast it takes to fill up the cars, but it usually takes more than 15 seconds to fill up these rides anyway, because... Something I don't like is that they have to unload all the customers, and then this gate over here has to shut before it even lets anyone else get on, which is kind of realistic, but it's, it's still annoying. So it takes a long time to load the rides, and the customers move way slower than this than I'm used to in Roller Coaster Tycoons. It's not something I'm super used to. Alright, so what do we have? I didn't actually look at all my shit in this park yet. I've got... So wait, is this park just always nighttime? I just noticed it's 2.30 in the... Here, where, where, uh, you can check that out here. Cl opens at 6 p.m., closes at 8, 6 a.m. Alright, so yeah, it's just nighttime. Um, I'm gonna check out what it looks like in the day just for a little bit, because I wanna... Oh, not 12 a.m., 12 p.m. There we go. So I wanna F with some of the settings. Um... They never start with the fucking... Oh, wait. That's not what I want to look They never start with an, any uh, price on the entering this the, uh, store. Why am I saying store? The park. They never start with a park entry fee ever at the beginning. So I always like throwing one on there because it helps you get some money to start out with. I never make it too expensive. I only max it out maybe $20 if I have a lot of rides. But I don't make it like Disney where it's like fucking 100 bucks for one person to get in the park. That's insane. Alright, so I have a first aid and a restroom. I don't have any shops. Alright, so we're gonna get that first. Oh shit. 
That's what they mean by... Oh. Oh. Okay, then. Yeah, I do need to research some shit. Because <laughs> I literally have nothing that I can build. Alright. Um, well, we're going to be smart first. Let's get some food first and some drinks. Because those are the actual important things that you really need. Oh, and by default, I don't even have a bathroom. Alright, no, we're just going to research all three of those. Now, like, I'm not against doing scenery. Like, I know this is cheating the system, but I, I'm still going to do it anyway. Um, the, I'm not against building scenery, but the problem is, is like a ride like this that's round um, doesn't bode for making very good scenery. Like, I, I would like to make a cool little, like, I don't know, like a wall or maybe something that kind of, like, goes by it and looks cool or whatever. But you can't really do that because none of the scenery is custom built to go around curves. A lot of the stuff is squares, so you can make stuff, like, around roller coasters you can make some pretty good stuff. But you can't really make good stuff around, like, just any other ride in the game. <laughs> so, until then, I'm just gonna keep spam clicking these. Well, I think the biggest issue I've run into since I started playing this game is the fucking log flume. It does not work for shit. Like, I tried to build the log flume, and... The way you build rides is... I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to explain, but I'll do my best. So, when you build a roller coaster, or the log flume, they kind of build the same way. You pretty much you get a drag side to side and up and down the angle that you want your track to go. And then you can drag the angle on it, so you can curve it side to side so you can bank the corners. And then you can also drag the length of the track. That's how you can do roller coasters. Now, the log flume, that one... You can only do the turning, the length of the track, and you can't bank it because it's a log flow. And then you can slightly adjust the up and down to like to just a very slight degree. But for the most part, you need to use their little uh, their little chain lift things that you use in a log flume, and the other little things with the uh, conveyor belts that pull it up, which is fine. But the downhill, you also have to build a custom thing for downhill, and I don't like that. That one's really annoying because. It just, I don't know, it's very limiting to how you can build them. So, you know, whatever. That's not the big a deal, right? But when you actually go to do it, though, it doesn't really work on the downhill. So, like, you'll... You'll start to build the downhill, right? And it's fine, okay? But let's say you want to do, like, a 40... Or a 90-degree turn, so a, you know, a quarter of a turn to the right before you do it. It will not let you build the downhill slope after that turn. It, for some reason, decides, oh, you want to do a full turn. So it continues a 90-degree turn and then starts the little down slope at the end. It's like, no, that's not what I want to do. So you, I'm like, okay, well, maybe if that's how it works, I'll erase it. So I erase the fucking thing, and then I do the turn. And it's still, it's just like, oh, well, then you just want to do it right on the spot. So it's impossible to get the up and down to go where you want it to, long story short. So that's a fucking pain in the ass. So I'm like, okay, whatever, but I can kind of work with that. So then I was trying to build a log flume the other day, and I get to the end of it, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, also, while you're building a log flume, there's no autocomplete option, which pretty much the autocomplete makes it so that you can actually connect your track to itself, since it's kind of a free form. It's almost impossible to connect to the beginning to the end exactly right for it to, like, actually consider it being done. So you have to really, like, I don't think it's possible to finish it without using autocomplete for the very last piece. Maybe it is, I don't know, but I, I don't think it is. Anyway, but... The, um, here, I'm going to speed up this a little bit so I'm actually making money. Um, I don't think it's possible to do it without that, but it couldn't do it. For some reason, same thing. It just would not allow me to do autocomplete, and it wasn't even that, like, I was mashing into the ground or anything like that, and I couldn't complete it. No, it just, it physically would not complete it, and not even just autocomplete, there's also an option. Sorry, there is a second option. When you get close to the very end of your other piece of track... There's an option that'll pull up on the piece of track that you want to connect to, where you just click on it and it'll automatically do the same thing. Autocomplete the ride to that specific spot, but that wasn't working either. So you just... Or maybe it was just that map. I don't know, but I, you cannot build fucking log flumes. And I'm like, okay then, well, fuck that ride. But yeah, log flumes. Not working. Alright, so look at this. These two rides... These two rides are so ridiculous. They make so much damn money. Okay, that's these aren't very accurate last month profit last month profits because the month hasn't really ended yet. So I'm gonna wait till the end of this month. 
to get a good uh, grasp on exactly how much money they made. Because it's going to be ridiculous. All right. So those are the important ones done. Now we need to actually start researching some actual rides. I kind of like this one. I, 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 see, that's something I like about these scenarios. They force you to learn the game whether you fucking like it or not. Alright, so we'll do first aid. Now the research you kind of like, you know, if you're paying attention to how it's been working, it... Um, it determines the research before you actually do it. And then you can just choose from the research how to do it. Instead of in Roller Coaster Tycoon where it's just completely random. Well, technically it's not random, but it's... You can't see what ride you're going to be researching. It's in a specific order, but you have no idea of knowing how, it, what order that is. So, you kind of just have to guess until you get to it. So, that one made $2,600. This made $2,300. That is ridiculous for a non-roller coaster ride. Because, not only am I able to get the price up to about $15, which is, in, in real life, that's high as fuck. But in this game, that's actually... That's about an average price on a ride. Maybe a little high, but... You can get such a high price on the ride that's not a roller coaster or, like, a tracked ride. And people still go on it. And it's a pretty fast runtime by default. So it gets through its little cycle fast. So it gets through, what, how many guests does it say it gets in a month? 189. It holds 48 per car. So that's just shy of, um, just shy of three full cycles in a month. Which sounds slow as fuck. But, I mean, that's that's better than a lot of rides. And 189 customers is a lot. Most rides don't get that many. You only get, like, 50 or something on a lot of rides. So they don't make nearly as much money. So anyway, excellent ride. All right, because of the fact that we have to just wait for research. Oh, I'm going to set it back to nighttime, too. Because I just wanted to see what the park looked like. Oh, shit. One thing I really don't like in this game is if you push escape to pull up the menu, you can't push escape again to close it. That's really annoying. Even if I have to push a different button to close it, I still have to push a different button to close it, so it's still annoying. Honestly, I almost don't have to make any more rides. I'll probably make, like, maybe one gentle ride so that the people that don't like scary rides will actually ride on that, but then I might go right to roller coaster building, which is great, because normally in parks, you know, if you start with nothing, you, you can't go right into building roller coasters or else you're just going to go bankrupt. You know, if you like building them as grandioso as I do, I usually spend probably 30, 40, 50k on a roller coaster. So you can't really just build it right away. you got to have some sort of income behind it. Otherwise, you're just going to run out. Um, which is something, oh, that's something else I, I like about this game over well, any of the roller coaster tycoons I've played in the past. You can actually do game modes that have money in them and not have to waste tons of time waiting for money. Like, you can... I can continuously be building a roller coaster in not fast-forward speeds, just normal speed. As long as I'm making, like, even just $3,000 a month, maybe maybe $5,000 a month might need that. But I could just make roller coasters while that's going, and I don't have to worry about, oh, got to wait, like, 20 minutes for me to make some money. Oh, got to wait another 20 minutes. No, I can just keep building it, which is great. The the lull and the grinding that you have to do in some of the previous roller coaster tycoons really was annoying. So I'm glad that in this game you can, you know, you can play the game. <laughs> I don't know what else to say it. Rock out with the family, I don't even know what that is. Rock out with the family. Get a pocket full of shells. Oh, uh, Wild Blue is not a very good ride. That one doesn't get a lot of people on it, and it also has a really long run time. How do I not have roller coasters being researched yet? Oh, wait. Am I never going to have roller coasters at all in this park? I just thought about that. That'll be really lame, then, if that's true. I don't want to ride a park that's just no roller coasters. That sucks. I guess I didn't even think about that. If it hasn't popped up any roller coaster options yet, I might not even get roller coasters at all. I hope not. That's my favorite part of the game. <laughs> oh, not 150. 1500. Okay, so, with the research, um, if you're at the lowest slash default amount, it goes normal speed, and then if you do the maximum amount, it does double speed, but you pay about triple for this, and you pay five times as much, but you don't technically spend double as much in the end. Um, the maximum amount you can spend on the research is like only that double amount or something like that. Not the tripled amount. It's kind of hard to explain. But all it does is just make it go faster at that point. I mean, obviously, you know, you got to balance out your research costs and blah, 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 blah costs, but... 
Actually, instead of just sitting here waiting for research to get done, I'm gonna... Hey, I'm gonna set it back today, because I don't like building stuff and I, it's hard. I'm going to... Hot dog squad? Oh, I didn't even have to build... God damn it. Alright, so it's kind of a space futuristic y park. So we're gonna use the space. Spach. The space and futuristic y uh, building, I guess. The cosmic milkshakes. Ugh. We're gonna pretend that's not floating. Nobody saw that, alright? Alright, whenever I customize my shakes, I always make sure to put in the right thing. So for the strawberry shakes, I pretend that the marshmallows are strawberries because you don't have some strawberries for some reason. So I put a lot of those in there, and I put some ice cream. The vanilla shake gets a lot of ice cream, and then the chocolate shakes get a lot of fudge pieces, and then all of them get ice cream, and only the vanilla gets, or only the strawberry gets marshmallows. That's how I do it. I don't change the prices or anything, because people are already getting mad enough as is. Maybe I shouldn't have put it this close to the path, because now people are getting whatever. They'll live. That was creepy. It's like, it's like, okay then. Alright, we're gonna put some ketchup on here, we're gonna get some pickles, mustard, lettuce, and cheese. Uh, a lot of cheese on that. On this one, you get a lot of ketchup, but nothing else. Alright, perfect. Alright, we'll just put the E-team right there. We'll pretend it fell out of the spaceship. But if you tell anyone that it didn't, I swear to fucking god. Nothing, 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 nothing bad's happening here. Everything's okay, we're all peachy, we're all... all good. Alright, so in this game too, you can train your staff and make them better, but you need to up their pay a little bit if you train them, otherwise they start getting pissed. I don't know if it actually... I've yet to see what the actual effects are. If they're unhappy. Simply because I just haven't, you know, paid enough attention to exactly what happens if they're unhappy. I don't know if they actually move slower or if they sweep slower or whatever. I don't really know. So it looks like I was right. And there's no roller coaster to be able to build. That's really lame. This is a lame park because of that. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna power through this park then. We're gonna get this one done as quickly as possible because I don't really want to play this park because you can't build roller coasters. All right, hot hot air balloon ride, cool. <laughs> of the sounds of that, I always think it's gonna go. <laughs> you know that song from I think SpongeBob. Yeah, I always think it's going to be that song. You know what I should do at some point? I should just make a building that's made out of all of these. And then save the blueprint. So that way I can just build it once. And it ex has exactly the amount to get something from 0 to 100. So that way I don't actually have to spend time doing this. I literally just make that one thing and then it's already at 100. And it would probably cost, what, $50 or something to build? How many of these do you think I'm placing? Probably close to 100, honestly. So, next things next. We're going to build a... This thing. Don't dare take it. Okay, I'm gonna do exactly what I just said. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna make a blueprint. Oh my god. What? I can build something that's free? We're going to do wooden post, because I feel like that's something that I can get on every single level. Right, there are 87 pieces on this right now, and it's only moved it up. Oh, okay, it's way higher than I thought it was. So, what? I need about 400 of these. Or is it just a price? That's probably what it is, honestly. Uh, it's probably you just have to spend blank amount of money on the ride in order for it to uh, hit its, like... 
scenery rating. I might need to test that out. Because if that's true, then this is kind of literally just a waste of time. And a waste of resources. It's probably, or, uh, like, computer resources. Like, it'd probably be better to have something that's really expensive that doesn't do anything than to do a lot of this. Because I feel like when I spend the money on the $50 rocks, it takes less to do the, the 25 or not fifty dollars, the fifty cent rocks instead of the twenty five cent uh, planks. Oh, I just absolutely killed my frame rate with that. Holy shit, that has absolutely just killed my frame rate. Wow. Wow, that destroyed my frame rate. Oh my god. Now it's back to normal. I didn't realize how bad that was getting. Yeah, this ride is going to be sponsored by McDonald's. It does the McKickflip. And we're back after doing some of that shit. Let's check out our research. Cool, we got the... Oh my god. <laughs> I got a ride called the Kickflip! <laughs> right after I named this one, McKickflip! Oh my god, that's awesome. Holy shit. What? There's no way! Oh my god. Wow! Wait, this is a fucking... This is a, uh, what the hell, a zipper. That's what this is actually called. Not even close to being called the kickflip. You guys are fucking stupid. That's not what it's called. You silly geese. Wait, I can do them out of order? I didn't know I could do them out of order. Lol. I'm gonna get the last one before I get the first one. I never knew I could do them out of order. Most of the time, you, like, they're all, like, the same objective, though, but slightly higher, so you really can't do them out of order. I guess this is the, one of the first ones where it's been not like that. We're just gonna keep building rides like this. Just build a Reno, ride a Reno, snatch a Reno. That's not the path arena that I want to use arena. This guy said, why is this ride so overpriced when the entry fee is so high? It, you, dude, you got in the price for five bucks, okay? If you think that's high, you've clearly never been to an amusement park before. Yeah, the Ace of Space. I mean, that just seems like a pretty straightforward name for a flying, spinny... Flying spinny ride with a little bit of flying in it. Oh, oh. Wait, he goes upside down. Does it completely flip or does it just go? Yeah, it does. Dude, I would be sick from this ride. Too much spinning. Oh my god, no. Fuck that. I have no retainer, so I realize that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he's here. He's here. He's queer. Get used to it. The <laughs> lol. <laughs> Look at this guy move his little legs. Dude, I would fucking hate to be in this. Well, he, there's no way he's that tall, so he has to be using some weird ass mechanical thing to move this arm. Aw, oh, dude, that would suck. I love the little smoke, but like it's like all his little legs moving. <laughs> Dude, I don't hate to be this guy because there'd be some asshole that comes up and knocks you on your ass, and you'd just be screwed. Aw, I feel bad for the guy now. <laughs> Wait, what was my heart? I had gotten a, I had gotten ten thousand, in a month. I don't even remember doing that. I like it how the one thing that's holding me back is the fucking park, is the fucking scenery rating. Like really? Here I got it. All right, well, we don't need to be on fast forward anymore. Special effects. We're going all out for this last one. Each of the corners, you get to flamethrower. 
It's an AT-AT, but it's a fucking dog. Oh my god, I love it. We're gonna ride this ride to victory. Is that supposed to be a crash mode over there too? I don't know. Oh, a fire over there. Fucking tall this ride is. <laughs> this ride goes ridiculously high. Oh. Alright, we're gonna have the attack of the fucking ATATs. Oh no, what's that? Oh, not another one! No! Anything but that! Oh, the humanity! Oh my god! Wait. Two UFOs? What? Here, we'll put it on top of this. There we go. Dead it. Dead it. Woo. This part kind of sucked. The fact you couldn't build roller coasters really sucked. Look at all these fucking AT-ATs I made there at the end. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. We're going to stop that because this is just some nonsense. We're not even going to save that level. That level was stupid. Alright, we're going to do a map after this. That's actually got some roller coasters. Maybe I can get some actual good content and you'll actually enjoy it. But uh, until then, I will catch you guys next time. Remember, stay saucy, everyone. <laughs> that was a direct fucking hit. God, I love the grenade launcher.